This is the opening of Claire de Lune, Debussy's wonderful masterpiece of luminescent calm. But is there a way we can make it even more mystical and magical and compelling? It's so expressive. It touches our emotions. But do we really need to show those emotions fully when we play it? Perhaps not. Hi, I'm Alan Fraser. This is Piano Somatics, where we learn to move better in order to play better. And the style of movement we're going to bring to Debussy is a case in point. The classic falling in and expressively touching the piano, it's beautiful. But is it impressionistic? Can I be impressionistic without losing the emotional tone? I want both. So if I stand up, stand and walk, the core of the piano somatics philosophy is so simple and yet the implications are so profound. If I weight my touch, it's thick, thicker than moonlight. If I stand up, I can control my tone beautifully. I can send the lead voice piercingly and more compellingly and yet not heavy. It's like pure light. And then I walk, which means I do not express every one I walk through. It's more pure, it's more natural. That one was not so great. You see, I, I compressed something, and that ruins this delicacy. I floated physically while my fingers were still in beautiful contact with the keys. I'm marrying the keys. I'm interacting with the keys. I'm caressing them. floating arm created by a standing finger floats with the music and creates a floating expressive sonority. That's Impressionism and that's how piano somatics can help bring Debussy back to wonderful life. <laughs>